How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mike, and welcome back to episode 12 of my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time, we saved Cubone from Team Rainbow Rockets, and we got rewarded by Mr. Fuji with the item, the Poke Flutes, and that is an incredible item because it allows us to explore many areas of the Kanto region, and when we get new areas, we get new encounters. So today, I'm going to be taking on Route 16, Route 17, Pokemon Road, and Route 18, so that should be three new encounters really quickly, so I don't want to hold back. Let's jump right into the encounters, but I know I'm going to be battling a Snorlax. Gotta wake him up, so I'm going to switch to Chewbacca, put Chewbacca in the front of the party, and because I'm going to be going on Pokemon Road, I'm going to ride on Dooku. Now, Dooku, as you can see, finally got his wings so he can fly around a little bit and he's very fast. But it'll be even cooler when we get on Pokemon Road and we can actually fly around on Dooku, baby! Oh, baby, I love this! Now, hopefully, that Articuno stays there. I hope that Articuno stays there. I'm not getting too, too excited yet because... We have to battle this whole Snorlax, and I'm not sure if, like, the whole cutscene with the Snorlax is gonna reset it. I might- I don't know if that will be our encounter, I don't know. But anyway, Snorlax woke up, and Snorlax is looking at you, and it looks hungry! Who's this guy over here? What's gonna happen? There's something I forgot to mention when I gave you the Poke Flute. Oh, perfect timing. You see, this Pokemon is called Snorlax. It's been known to attack the first thing it sees after waking up. It thinks what it sees is food. Since it can be pretty dangerous, please help it calm down by battling it with your Pokemon. Once you defeat it, you'll be able to catch it. Well, we actually can't catch it because we already had a Snorlax in this run. So that would be breaking Duke's claws. Can't catch him. But what we can do is knock him out, and I've got the perfect Pokemon for that. And hopefully after this, we can get ourselves Articuno. That would be really cool. Alright, so let's see. Brick Break. Not gonna kill it. Oh no, it's going for Yawn! Don't put me to sleep, you Snorlax. You evil, evil demon Snorlax thing. Let's try going for uh, another Brick Break on you. Maybe we'll get a crit. Maybe we'll get lucky. Nope. Oh, wow. Everybody's gonna be sleeping. Everybody's gotta sleep. Snorlax has to sleep and heal himself up, and then we have to sleep because Snorlax can't be the only one that has to sleep. I just want to get that Articuno, Snorlax. Oh, wait, can I just run from it? Do I even have to fight this thing? Oh. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even see that. I was all like, oh, we have to battle this thing. Never mind. Forget that. Oh, too bad. You know what? I don't care. I want Articuno. Is it still there? Yes! Cool! Awesome! Awesome, awesome, awesome! Let's go get that! Let's do this! Get out of my way! Ooh, look at that aura! Ooh, Charizard and Articuno. This is nice, though. We've seen so many Articunos. Seems like every trainer has one. Now we can finally get one. So I'm gonna try going for a Raspberry. Uh, never mind. We're not gonna Raspberry it. It's gonna use this Ice Attack and destroy my berry. All right, Ultra Ball, let's go. Ball number one, two, nope. Come on, Articuno, be easy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it started moving right as I threw my ball. All right, this is it, last Ultra Ball. We only had three, hopefully it gets in this one. Three and no. All right, another ball, great ball, great throw. Great luck, hopefully, come on. Three and yes. Yes, 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 yes! We got ourselves an Articuno. Oh my gosh, look at the guys leveling up, Chewy and Owen. Well, Owen, I don't think Owen's staying on the team much longer. But we got Articuno. Let's read his Pokedex entry. I love, love, love getting legendaries. A legendary bird Pokemon. It freezes water that is contained in winter air and makes it snow. Okay, I decided on naming him Wampa, so welcome to the team, Wampa the Articuno. Look at this, level 32, beautiful, timid nature. That's even better, that's like the best nature you could get in an Articuno, and it has some really good moves. Ice Beam, and well, I guess Ice Beam is the only good move, but that's an awesome move to have. Timid nature and Ice Beam, you can't ask for better than that, that's amazing. Let's use Wampa, that's so exciting. That's so exciting. Ooh, Ivysaur was also there, but hey, you can't complain when you get an Articuno for your encounter. So, let's keep going. We've got two more encounters. If that's how our first encounter is going to be, I can only imagine what the rest of the encounters are going to be. 
So, yes, look at Charizard flying high in the air, got his wings and everything. I wish I could fly like this everywhere. That would be so cool, but only after the, we beat the game. But our next encounter is going to be... If anything's gonna spawn... Oh, we got Executor and Rapidash. Unfortunately, we already had a Rapidash, so... It will have to be Executor. Uh, I actually feel kind of stupid right now, because I just went ahead and caught this guy. Then I remembered when I was thinking, what am I going to nickname him? Then I remembered we had Order 66. So, yeah, that's not my encounter. And Rapidash is not my encounter, because we have Ahsoka. So let's try again. Let's try again. <laughs> I'm going to stay right over here. Whatever the first unique po- Okay, Arcanine! There we go! That's a new one, right? We don't have Arcanine anywhere in the box. No, we don't. Now, we are kind of low on Great Balls because I had to use a lot of Great Balls to go catch that last Pokemon that I thought was my encounter because I'm silly. But, you know what? That's the price we have to pay for going after the wrong Pokemon. And we're gonna waste an a Great Ball right there. Come on, just stay in one spot. Alright, that looks like he's gonna stay- Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, come on, I just want my Arcanine. Please get in the first ball. Please, please, please. Yes! Yes! That is so good. That is so good. That makes up for the whole disaster that I just had before. I feel so dumb catching that executor and thinking, yes, that's my encounter and everything, and then realizing right after, boom, I already had one. Anyway... Anyway, let's give this guy a nickname. Okay, and Arcanine is going to be known as Lando after Lando Calrissian, and I would love to use this guy. I love Arcanine, very cool Pokemon, however his moveset is kind of terrible. So we'll probably come back to Lando sometime in the future after I get some good TMs, like a good Fire-type TM, and I'll teach it to him. And right now, Dooku is a really good fire type for me so I think we're just gonna keep Lando boxed for now but eventually someday Lando will get his time to shine so let's keep going what was that boat is that shelter in the grass there that looks so weird running around but anyway ooh, needle queen 2 we're gonna go to route 18 get our final encounter and then I think I'm gonna take on the Celadon City gym we have some pretty good Pokemon I don't think we need to do any extra leveling up to do that because we already did a whole bunch of leveling when we fought Team Rocket, Team Rainbow Rocket, so I think we'll be okay. But here, we'll go through the gates and we'll get our final encounter for this episode. I'm so happy though that we got ourselves an Articuno Wampa. I can't wait to use Wampa in a battle. It's gonna be so much fun. So let's see, what is our final encounter going to be for Route 18? It's taking forever to load. What is our, okay, we got a Machoke, we got Dragonair. And I think that's it. So let's go over here. Oh, we gotta battle you first, I guess. I always check every grassy area like this for new Pokemon. So do I. So do I. I need new Pokemon. So I think I'm gonna go for the Dragonair, because I think Dragonair and Machoke spawn at like the same time. Needle King. Needle King, Needle King, Needle King. So I'll go for the Dragonair. Hopefully it's at a high enough level that I don't really have to train it for too long. And yeah, that's a little scary. It's level 42. That's very high level. I think it's going to be higher level than like the gym leaders and everything. Now we've already fought one trainer with insanely high level, so I'm not too worried. And Ice Beam should do okay, plus let's try it. Let's just try it out. Wampa, how do you do against this thing? Alright, yeah, that's not going to be something I'm going to stay in against. Ice Beam does a lot though. If we were... Oh, that's a crit. But if we were higher leveled, I'm sure we could take him out with, um, Wampa. This is kind of scary, though. Oh, oh, no. Chewbacca's still asleep, too? So we're effectively down to, like, five Pokemon. Hopefully this battle goes well. This can go very wrong. Egg Bomb. Alright, we take this a lot better on Dooku than we did back on, um, Wampa. Now, let's see. I've got Dig and Wing Attack. I'll probably just go for Dig here. Dodge the attack, and then hit him with a super effective ground move next turn. That's kind of scary that it's a level 42, though. But, again, I think we could take out high-leveled Pokemon. That's a really big jump. I wonder what the levels of the trainers were in the Pokemon road. I kind of flew above all their heads. But I'm guessing they also have high-level Pokemon, too. And Sand Slash! Ooh, a Lolan Sand Slash! This should be easy! So Brick Break and Fire Spin are both going to be good here. I'll go for uh, Fire Spin. Let's do it. Or we're going to miss. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, baby. No, no. Don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me like that. All right. Never mind. 
Oh, I would love to switch in Chewbacca, but Chewbacca's asleep. I guess it'll be Atticon. This is not good at all. This is not good. However, Anakin has Brick Break, I believe. So we'll be able to hit him with a super effective move, and we can take the Waterfall. That's good. That's scary that it has Waterfall. But now that uh, Dooku's out, we should be okay. Iron Tail, hopefully that doesn't do a lot. That does do a decent amount, but because we're faster, we'll be able to kill it with Brick Break. If Brick Break somehow missed here, we would have lost Anakin. Luckily, it doesn't. Now let's get our encounter. This was kind of a scary battle. Chish! We only get Pokeballs for defeating you? Come on. Your Pokemon are way too strong for you to only give me Pokeballs. It looks like there's more trainers. Oh, a snake. It looks like there's more trainers over here too. I just want that Dragonair to come over to me. I don't want to have to battle another trainer. My team is so weak right now from this battle. Come on, Dragonair. Come to Mikey. Come. No, 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 no. Come back. These stupid snakes. Get these snakes out of here. Come on, give me it, give me it. Oh. If it despawns, I guess I'm gonna have to go for a Machoke. Come on. No, what? Where's your hitbox? There we go. Finally got this thing. I'm like touching his tail and I couldn't get into an encounter with it. Alright. Ooh, level 38. So this thing's only gonna have 12 levels to go until it's a Dragonite. And me being the genius that I am, I didn't get the Great Balls. I realized that right as I got into the encounter here, I was way too excited. Wow, go to the moon for Mirror Ball. I was way too excited to get my third encounter, and I forgot to get the uh, the Great Balls. Okay, let's try this again. Nice throw. Stay in the ball. Please be easy. I don't have raspberries. I don't have good balls. I'd really like to have you, especially if we only have 12 levels to go. For you to become a Dragonite? Oh my gosh. Three? Oh no. Come on. Come on. Come on. This next ball is going to be it. Nope. Never mind. It's going to dodge it. Excellent throw. Come on. Please. Please, Dragonair. Oh. Wow. Wow. That hit? <laughs> First off, I threw it straight. And then, I'm also kind of shocked that it actually got... There. I was not expecting that to even touch the Pokemon. Please, please, please. Nope. Everything's harder to catch than Articuno was. Two, three. Uh. That might have been a taunt animation. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So we need to get him. No! 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 Okay. Again, kind of my fault. We should have gotten Great Balls before doing that encounter. I was too excited. And we used up all of our good balls on other Pokemon. So unfortunately, no Dragonair for us. Ugh. It's always rough when you go ahead and you try to catch a Pokemon, and then instead it actually runs away from you. But when you also catch an Articuno in the same episode, you can't really be too mad. So let's go take on the Celadon City Gym. Let's earn our fourth gym badge. I think this gym is going to be a piece of cake, honestly, because in the game you're supposed to do this basically as soon as you get to Celadon City. So you could fight this gym leader before doing Team Rocket. Since we did all of that stuff with Team Rainbow Rocket, I think our Pokemon are going to be like high leveled compared to everything in this gym. So we should be fine. We really should be fine. Ooh, so you want to challenge Erica, the gym leader? I'll have you know, we only let trainers with cute Pokemon enter the gym. Do you have one? Here, let me see. Hmm, who's the cutest guy on my team? I think Anakin. Anakin's a really cute Pokemon. How do you... Mewtwo's a cute Pokemon. Ooh, ooh, it feels so good. I just want to bury my face in its belly. It smells good too. I love it. I don't know what that girl was doing with my Mewtwo, and I'm not sure if I like it. But what I do like is that we're here. Time to get our fourth badge. So let's go. Dodge you and keep going in this gym. I'm not exactly sure how the puzzle goes. I think if I just try to stick near the center, I'll get to the gym leader pretty quickly. So let's make that our goal. Let's get to this gym leader. Wow, I guess we could skip a lot of the trainers. I'll battle a few of the gym trainers just because. 
cut down all these trees. I honestly wish they weren't here. It makes it annoying. It makes it annoying to navigate this gym. And there she is, Erica, right there. And what I'm not sure about is why my character just can't hop over this bush right here. Because look, I know I'm only supposed to be like 10 or 11 in this game, but my character is pretty tall. I can see right over that bush. I'm like peeping on Erica right over there. So why can't I just jump over this and get to her? Why do I have to go through this whole maze? Do you know? Do you know why I have to go through this whole maze? What's your hobby? Yes, let's battle Pokemon. I guess she doesn't know why we have a whole maze in here. Maybe I'll ask Erica. Scientist Lori! Okay, they have a Jolteon. Ooh, I'm gonna have to get Wampa out of here. Don't like that matchup. Electric versus flying types. Not a big fan of that. But they're only using Pokemon at level 31. So yeah, that's, that's pretty good for me. So let's see. Who can we swap in? Anakin's probably our best bet. Everybody else is kind of weak to electric. I didn't realize my team is that weak to electric. We have some really bad weaknesses. Kind of sucks that we weren't able to keep the executor. That would really take care of a lot of the weaknesses for us. But anyway, Psybeam. Gonna be a nice two hit KO. It's gonna use Thunder Wave. Not gonna do much damage to me. And one more Psybeam from Anakin. We'll be able to get rid of it, hopefully. Now, I can't wait until we finally get Psychic. I think we could probably get Psychic somewhere in Saffron City. So, it shouldn't be much longer that we have to keep using Psybeam. And I'm also not sure what level Mewtwo level, uh, Mewtwo learns Psychic. Can't be that high, right? It'll probably be coming up soon. Okay, ooh, a Melmetal! Melmetal, Mel, 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 Metal. Alright, so, for Melmetal, we have a few answers. Anakin can stay in, and then we've also got Dooku. So what I'll probably do is try going for a Brick Break on Melmetal with Anakin, just so I don't have to swap out. I don't think Melmetal can one-shot me with whatever it's going to go for. Sludge Bomb. Yeah, no, that's doing absolutely nothing. So I'll probably just keep going for Brick Break. Uh, never mind. That Paralysis is going to be a little annoying in this battle. You know what? Let's swap out. Let's send out Dooku. Dooku should be fine against this thing, too. Although the nice thing about keeping Anakin in here is that he can't get poisoned. Now I'm going to swap out and I'm going to get hit by that poison. Meh meh. <laughs> okay. So I've got Brick Break, I've got Dig, I've got Fire Spin. Let's go for the Fire Spin. Hit him with your Spin of Fire. Ooh, wow, look how much that did. Did a lot of damage. Trapped in that Fiery Vortex. I don't think the extra damage that Fire Spin does is going to be enough to take it out, though. Yup, just gonna live. So we'll hit it with a good old Brick Break and knock this thing right out of here. Get out of here, Mel Metal. Bye-bye now. Oh, wow. That looks so cool when it faints. It just turns into, like, goo. <laughs> Ooh, okay, cool. We get Crunch on Phasma. Very nice move. Let's get, a re get rid of Leer. Can't speak. I don't know how I have so many subscribers if I can't speak at all. But yay. Ooh, splendid. Alright, so after that battle, I ran out of the gym, I healed up real quick, because a lot of my guys weren't looking too good. But now we are back, and I think we found the right path to Erica. so let's go ahead and take her on. Now, let's see. For the team, we've got Wampa as the lead. I think Wampa is strong enough to actually fight this gym battle. I don't think Erica's gonna be way too strong, and if she is, if she has a lot of powerful Pokemon, we have a lot of good guys to follow back on. We've got Phasma, we've got Anakin, we've got Dooku, Chewie, and Yoda, so I feel pretty confident going into this battle. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully we get zero deaths, because I don't want to lose anybody else ever again. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Did you just fall asleep talking to me? Erica. Erica, am I really that boring? Well, you know what? I'm gonna give you a battle that'll wake you right up. Let's go. Gym battle number four against leader Erica. Let's get out of here with zero deaths. So you're leading off with Muck. <laughs> All right, so the Alolan Muck, which is a dark type, and I think poison type as well. So we're just gonna go for Ice Beam. We're just gonna go for Ice Beam, see what it can do to us. This probably won't hit it for too much, Wow, yeah, that's not really doing much at all. Okay, and it's going to try confusing me. So if you're going to do that, and I'm also liking the levels, it's only level 36, which isn't too bad for us. 
If it's gonna do that, then I'll swap out into somebody that can handle it pretty well. So we're gonna go into Dooku. Dooku will have those super effective digs. And it also gets rid of that confusion for us real quick. Come on out, Dooku. Ooh, Sky Attack! Look, we're doing this again, the Sky Attack Dig Battles. It's like the battle against Giovanni all over again. So we're gonna go for Dig, dodge that Sky Attack, and then hit it with that super effective damage. Okay. It's taking a long time for me to use my Dig. Boom. Yeah, it does a pretty decent amount of damage. I'll take it, I'll take it. Oh, Confuse Ray again. I don't like being confused. I just want my moves to go through. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is I'll probably just use a full heal. Might seem like a little bit of a waste, but I don't want to keep switching. I just want to knock this thing out with Dooku and finish it once and for all. And it's gonna go for Acid. Now is one more dig enough to take it out? I don't think so. But we'll give it a try anyway. Because what's the worst thing that could happen if we go for dig again? Yeah, we dodge a Confuse Ray. That's a pretty good thing. <laughs> oh, look at that muck. It looks so cool. I really like the way they designed this Pokemon. Now don't go for Confuse Ray. Please do anything else. Gotta do it again. Gotta make sure my Charizard is confused. Why are you doing this to Dooku? What did Dooku ever do to you? Well, you know what? We'll use another full heal just so I don't have to swap. And get rid of that confusion. Okay, item number two. Four more items, hopefully we don't have to use them, and it's gonna go for Acid. And I think now, at this point, anything should just take it out, so I'll just go for a quick wing attack. Wing it and knock it right out. Give him your wings! Boom. So weird how wing attack is like a slashing animation. Not really sure why we attack like that. But yay, Wampa's at level 33, nice job Wampa. And the Tentacruel, alright, so we're getting out of here. And I guess what we'll do is switch into... We actually have two Pokemon we can switch into here. Anakin and Yoda. I'll swap into Yoda. Let's give it a try. Because if this thing wants to go for a water move, which I'm sure it's going to, which is probably the reason why it switched in against Dooku. Yeah, Hydro Pump. We'll just go for Psybeam, which will hit it for some super effective damage. And we can take that decently well. It did 30 damage. So we can take... If it keeps doing that, it'll be a 4-hit KO. So we might have to use a potion. Yeah, this looks like it might be a 3-hit KO from us. But yay, we dodged the Hydro Pump. That's good. That's very good. Nice job, Yoda. Oh, we're swapping, though. What are you going to send in? Slowbro. Ooh, Mega Slowbro. Okay, that changes up things a little bit. So yeah, we're not going to stay in against the Mega Slowbro. Instead... Hmm... Instead, it'll be time for Anakin. Anakin has that Thunderbolt, this is gonna be good. Mega Slowbro is a very bulky Pokemon, so we're just gonna go for it. Light Screen. That might make things a little bit annoying. Let's just see how much Thunderbolt does. We have Brick Break, however, Brick Break is gonna do nothing, and depending on how much, yeah. Withdraw. Okay, that's interesting. So, Thunderbolt's not gonna kill it here, I don't think it's gonna kill it. So what I'll do is go for Brick Break, just break that screen. Oh, you're gonna swap? Okay, into Marowak. Okay, this is regular Marowak, so I'm glad that I went for Brick Break then. We get rid of the screen, and we got a nice switch. This, Erica really likes to swap her Pokemon. She really likes it. That did a lot of damage. Amnesia, gonna raise that special defense. I don't think you're gonna live long enough to use that special defense, though. So she could swap again. I'm just going to go for Psybeam, because no matter what you swap into, we should be okay. Yeah. So that'll take it out. Nice. Pokemon number two down. Two of her Pokemon are pretty weak right now, and there's just two that we have not seen yet. Alright, so here's the Tentacruel. And I think a Psybeam here should do enough to take it out too, hopefully. Let's find out. Yeah, that's done. Nice. Three Pokemon down. See, switching is good, but you've got to switch with purpose. If you're just switching randomly, it's not really going to do you too well. Oh my guys are getting so high level. This is amazing. And she's bringing the Slowbro back out. She must not have many answers for me at this point. So it'll be Thunderbolt again. Let's zap this thing away. Bye-bye, Slowbro. 
two more Pokemon. Zero deaths, everything is looking great. Only use two items. This battle is going very well. Sandslash. Oh, another Alolan Sandslash this episode. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing. Let's send out Dooku again. Although, again, I could have just stayed in with Anakin and gone for the Brick Break. But, you know, this thing... Sand Attack. Ugh. We should be able to dodge sand attack, you know, we're flying. How is, how is sand attack supposed to hit us? Is it even worth going for fire spin? The accuracy is going to be so bad now, yeah. Horn attack, oh gosh, I thought that said horn drill for a second. But yeah, it wouldn't be able to hit us with horn drill anyway. Let's try fire spin until it actually hits. Doesn't really look like this thing can do too much to us. Is this one going to hit? Yes, alright, three fire spins, and wow! Wow, just barely missed the one shot, and the nice thing is, that little extra damage is going to be enough to take it out. Bye-bye, Sandslash. And what is your final Pokemon going to be, Erica? What is it going to be? Omastar. Alright, so we're getting out of here. This is not a good matchup for Dooku. Let's see, against an Omastar, Chewy wouldn't be too bad. I just don't want to switch Chewy into anything, you know? I could try it. Is this an unnecessary risk, though? Is that the question? Because I feel like we're going to come in, we're going to take a water move. We have really good special defense, though. I had no idea it was this high. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what it does. If it does a lot of damage, because it's definitely not going to one-shot me. If it does a lot of damage, we'll swap out into Anakin. If it doesn't, we'll try Thunder Punching it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little scary. Alright, so a little bit of a change of plans. It did a lot of damage. Now, it's not a two-hit KO. It's not a two-hit KO. However, that could have been, like, a minimum damage roll, and the next Surf could do more damage, and that probably would kill Chewbacca. There would be a chance that Chewbacca would die there. Ooh, lovely kiss. Not liking that. But I just don't want to lose anybody, especially since this battle is going so well. So I'll bring in Anakin, who can just one-shot it. Okay. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it, another gym badge, zero deaths, that's what I like. Oh, I can see defeat, you are remarkably strong. Why, thank you, Erica, hopefully that woke you up enough. I must confer on you a rainbow badge. Sweet, gym badge number four. We got it, we are officially halfway through the randomizer. Four badges down, four badges to go. Oh, it feels like just yesterday I just started this adventure, Started with Dooku, then caught Qui-Gon, and now look at the team. You know, a lot of guys have come and gone, but the ones that stay, the ones that put in the work, and even the ones that are dead, they all were amazing Pokemon. Every one of them was special in their own way. And my friends, my Pokemon, I will avenge all of your deaths by winning this randomizer, keeping going, and become the best trainer in the whole entire land. So my friends, hope you enjoyed watching this episode. It was a lot of fun. Got a gym badge, got a legendary Pokemon, and I'll be seeing you in the next one with more encounters, more craziness. It's gonna be a blast.